I'm almost finished with that first page. The only thing I still need to take care of is this white background here. Now when I go back to my finder, I see that I have an image ready to use. Let's take a look at that. It's a native Photoshop PSD document, not a TIFF or an EPS. It's nice, I'm going to use that to fill up my page. What I don't like about this PSD though is someone's already put in a text layer in Photoshop and I don't need that text for my page, so I'm going to have to fix that. Before I do that though, let's just grab that Photoshop document and drop the uh, file on the page. It's a 75 meg Photoshop file with layers and Quark Express imports it because it has that native Photoshop import capability. Now let's make those changes I need to make. I need to fix that text layer. How can I do that? One way would be to do it right in Photoshop. It comes from Photoshop. How do I get it to open in Photoshop rather than other applications? Very easy. One way you can do it now in Quark Express 8 is just to drag it and drop it out of Quark Express to the Photoshop icon down here in the dock or any other application, for example iPhoto. Dragging and dropping not only into Quark Express but out of Quark Express with any type of content like text but also Photoshop documents and any kind of picture. In this case though I've changed my mind, I don't want to do it in Photoshop. I'm going to make the change here in the context of the page so I can see how it fits in with the rest of my design using the uh, Photoshop features of Quark Express. It's very easy. What I'll do is I'll open up the PSD import palette of Quark Express 8 and make the changes directly here in, inside my Quark Express layout. You'll see it looks very familiar if you've used Photoshop. I see all of the options that my PSD contains. You can see all of the layers and also all of the channels. This is very useful if you want to recolor your spot channels, for example. What I want to do here, though, is my layers. I don't want to see the text layer, so I simply turn off the eyeball icon there for the text layer. And now the text layer is gone. Well, that was easy enough. Now, looking at my page, what I don't like is this large red area in the middle with the helicopters on the boat. This magazine is more about the design of the boat, not about helicopters. So I want to hide those a little bit. Now in Photoshop, I've already set up a layer, and if I take a look at it, I can turn on a layer that is designed to cover up those helicopters a little bit. I'll activate that layer there that I created and see how that looks on this page. Again, click on the visibility icon, and it's covered up. Looking at it now, though, that's maybe a little bit too black. So what I want to do is adjust that transparency. I can do that inside Quark Express 8. It's a unique feature of Quark Express. I can change the layer transparency inside the PSD, in the PSD palette, switch it to 50%, and now I can see the helicopters again. And of course, I can also get really creative with this by changing the actual blend modes of the layers to get me the look that I want. Now, the nice thing about this kind of work is it is non-destructive, which means I'm not changing the original PSD file. We just keep the changes in this layout, in this box in fact. It means you can use the same PSD with different layer options on different pages without having to have two or three different files.